we of course have an exciting day, just basically like every day out here, but we have another rescue mission. This one is a little bit different. We are on the way to Malala, which is where the second property is, New Life Asher House. And every time I would go to the property, there was this great Pyrenees that uh, would follow us around who I absolutely loved. And recently they told me that, I kind of learned their, the great Pyrenees' story. Her name is Bentley. And recently they told me that they're not bringing Bentley with them. Uh, the people who sold us the house are moving and they're unable to bring Bentley along with many of the animals. But when they saw our connection and when they you know, found out about what we do, they asked if we could please take Bentley and I uh, of course said yes. So we're on the way there. Oh, are you scared? Hi, Bubba. I don't want Butters to go to her just because uh, she doesn't do well with other dogs. But she definitely does not want to come. I mean, she's literally hauling ass. My back is not like this. Yeah. Okay. Diane? Yeah. Will she be on the leash? I don't want to risk it. Oh, 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 oh. Justin, will you open the back of the yeah, truck? Yeah, Here, yeah. take the keys out of my. You may not need it, actually. Just, uh, yeah, you don't need the keys, just okay. open it up. Shh, 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 that one. Please don't bite You're me. good, man. You're good. I'm sorry, man. It's okay. Oh, 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 oh. Justin, drive it up here, maybe. Sure. Here, give him the keys. You have them? I need to do more cardio. I need to do more cardio. All right, we did it. Good job. Yeah. Where'd they go? Where's Darnell? All right. I need some CBD for my back right now. <laughs> Some intense workouts. Oh man, dude, you weren't, you didn't see, I carried the dog from the house all the way really? to here. Yeah. Yeah. See? And she was like, and we did that workout earlier. <laughs> yeah, that workout was intense. <laughs> Usually, rescue missions are either just me or just me and Hayes, but uh, we have some friends visiting from New York, and it's so cool to show people kind of our lifestyle because it's just so different. I get to see people in this such a unique environment and uh, see the way that people adapt. So meet some friends. I don't know if I'm pointing the camera the right way, but this is Elliot. Let me see. Yep, Elliot. This is my friend Darnell from New York and Tamara. All right. And you guys have any questions from today? Here, Hayes, I'm going to give the camera to Hayes here. Yeah. All right. So you got Bentley. Got Bentley. What's the, what's the process? How does Bentley become one of the pack? That's a good question. What is she doing out there? Just chilling? Uh, yeah, head out the window. Well, looking out the window. Okay. Um, so, with Bentley, especially seeing how, you know, when you go to a shelter, when you go to a shelter, it's a lot different than what just happened. What do you think the difference is? When you go to a shelter, it's a lot different than what you, from the from this, person from, adopting? From or? The, for, the, for everybody. Okay. 
from the experience so, that just happened, what do you think the difference is from about the shelter and, and about what you witnessed? What's the difference? So like in the shelter, the animals are just all in cages and you're kind of just looking at them on the wall. Yeah. And they it, kind of just pick one out? And no, not necessarily. You're, you're close though. It's, it's that the animal wants to go with you. Because they're in a cage, they want oh, to go with okay. you. Yeah, 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 all right. That right? Sense. So they, they don't feel safe. They don't have any certainty. So anything besides their, their situation in their mind is better than where they're at. Okay. Right? Now, every now and then, that's not 100% of the time. It's often. But every now and then, I, even I have a couple dogs. Uh, a recent one, uh, Ella, the, the smaller chocolate lab, the really hyper one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She felt safer. In, she didn't trust people, and she felt safer at the shelter. Okay. But this situation, Bentley is obviously really comfortable at her home here. This has become her home, right? She's been here how long? I think she's only been there for nine months. But uh, she is going to have to really, really, I could already see it. It's going to take her some time to really, really trust me and the pack. So who do you introduce her to first? It's not necessarily about who I do at first. I'm not really worried about that part as far as who I introduce her to first. I'm really gonna have to take my time because they told me she doesn't get along with other dogs. So this is something, you didn't ask this, but this is a good question if you were to ask. What, what do you do if she doesn't get along with other, other dogs? Well, one other question to add to that is, did any of the current dogs have that same issue? Yeah, a, 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 a little bit. Not so much where they were vicious, but some dogs, you have to ask yourself, does the dog get triggered by another dog? Okay. Now, you see how I showed her butters and she didn't come up to me? Yeah. So there, I, I look at that as potential. If she would have looked at butters and just went nuts and wanted to attack him, even though I was holding him, I would be like, I don't think it's safe to even bring her to the sanctuary. But because she didn't get triggered by him, I think that she's just, it's not that she doesn't get along with other dogs. I think that she's so protective over her family and so protective over the animals there and the livestock that she looks at all other dogs as a threat, which that's her job, the Great Pyrenees, that is their job to protect. That That's literally what they're bred for. Okay. So it's not that she doesn't get along with other dogs. She does her job well. What I want to do is bring her into my pack let, let her know that they're not a threat, make her feel comfortable. And I do see her being a pack dog. Uh, I have a feeling she's going to be a, a pack dog. But I, I still don't know, I could be wrong and I can't say for sure if I'm keeping her, you know? So when you bring her, yep. you take her into the house or? We're going to, we're going to bring all the dogs into a different area of the house so that they can't see her. I'm going to um, let them smell me so they get familiar with her because I was just holding her. I'm going to let them kind of get familiar with her scent. Okay. And then I'll do a few dogs at a time, probably in my room, because she'll, she's going to run. If I let her out, we're, if we let her out anywhere whatsoever right now, she's going to run and try to find home. So I need to keep her in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so she's comfortable. And not in the house, sorry. She's, she's going to be in the house no matter what. I'm in my room so that she has a safe place. So that, let's say she gets scared anywhere in the house or anywhere on the property, the goal is to get her to run to my room. Okay. Right, and then what I'm gonna do is, slowly but surely, maybe not today, um, slowly but surely bring a couple dogs at a time. You know, yeah, yeah. and then eventually it'll be all of them. Do you do the bigger ones first instead of the smaller ones? It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. If I was in a situation where I had to introduce her uh, to all of the dogs at the same time, it, I would probably actually continue holding her. Oh, yeah, yeah, If I was holding her, the other dogs would see that she's not attacking me and that I'm protecting her, so they wouldn't do anything. Okay. When I was on the road in the RV, when I would bring a dog from a shelter, whether I was fostering or just for the day, or even if I would adopt a dog, I would always walk into the RV holding the dog no matter how big it was so the dogs would see like this is dad's dog you know okay. there's something going on here 